Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about mastermind groups. So, of course, guys, this is not something you're going to start with right in the beginning. So this section is just for once you get established, you're in there for a couple of years. You know, people know who you are. People are seeking you out. They want to learn from you. So this is when you can create a mastermind group. And basically what a mastermind group is, as I talked about in the intro video, is, you know, you're going to have this group of people that sign up for your group, for your mastermind group, and you're going to all meet in one place. OK, now, again, you can decide what you want to do and how you want to do it. But really and truly, whenever they talk about mastermind groups, they really the thing is that a lot of different marketers get into the course people call it an inner circle you can call it whatever you want but a lot of people get into the mastermind group right and they all get into this one room that is the main purpose because they're all gonna learn from each other now of course it's your group so you're gonna be teaching you know you can ask questions around the room to each individual and see what they think about that or what their thoughts are and in turn you're gonna be learning some good insights as well on things you even you own the group and you may be learning some cool stuff it's usually how it goes but that's pretty much what a mastermind group is is when everyone gets together in one room so once you get to that point of authority where people know who you are, they're seeking you out, you can pretty much charge whatever you want. So what I'm going to show you in this video is, not, I guess, a couple of things that you can use if you want to go, you know, not like renting the uh, conference room. You know, like I said, you're not going to be doing this right now. This is for later down the road when you have that authority built up and you can afford these things. You know, you're going to be able to afford to rent any place you want to meet with your master mastermind group attendees so you know it's not going to be a problem but if you wanted to do something like this like on a smaller scale like a one-on-one -on -one consulting I wanted to talk about that in this video so I'm going to show you a couple of things here under this video you're going to see a couple of links uh, actually I think it's one link it's going to be to this uh, this article that we're going to take a look at right here and let's go ahead and look at this so this is an article for the top five teleseminars and it's by easy talks of course they're going to put their platform first right now I haven't tested any of these platforms but I want you to go ahead and read through all of these what they say about each one but which one but the one we're gonna talk about is number five here which is zoom because this is the one that I use okay and this is a free program um, with limitations of course but we're gonna check it out right here I have it open just to show you on um, the plans so what zoom is it's it's a conferencing video call but it's kind of like Skype so if you ever did a Skype call or audio it could be the audio video so that's kind of cool too if you don't like showing your face as much you could just it'll just show your picture and then you could just talk with your clients over audio so you could use this for one-on-one -on -one situations and this is something guys that I wanted to talk about because this you can do right now you can do consulting one-on-one -on -one situations with a client right now. If you know more than that client knows, you can do it. All you need to do is have a little bit of confidence in yourself, okay? If they ask you any kind of questions that you don't know, you don't have to say, uh, I don't know the answer to that, um, so let's just move on. You know, you wouldn't say something like that. You have to be smarter than the average Joe, right? So what you would say is, I'm not 100% certain on that, but I tell you what, I can find out for you and give you an answer tomorrow or in a couple of days and then they'll say fine yeah okay that's great um what i would do is like a q and a i would write down maybe the possible questions that they may ask you during the call and you can write the answers down so you'll have those available you know and sitting there on the side you know it's just one of the ways you can do it and if they ask a question you don't know say you you'll get the answer for them you know, no big deal. If you're really good at a particular thing, let's say you really know a lot about SEO, something like that, right? Or if you know a lot about YouTubes and how to make YouTube video, or if you know a lot about like doing YouTube videos in the right way and all those kind of things, it, it doesn't matter what it is. There's consulting for everything. All you have to do is advertise. And you know, a lot of marketers think inside the box, like I'm online, so I need to do this here. You can go to your local newspaper and put an ad in there consultant for XXX now taking students call whatever or visit website you know so and it's only gonna cost you a couple of bucks put that in the newspaper if you have a little bit more money to spend you can do a billboard sign you could do radio advertisements it's not as expensive as you think it is so there's so many other ways guys to get 
clients out there, okay? And consulting, it's, it's really not that hard. What you wanna do is when you take a consultant student, you want to make sure you're prepared, okay? You wanna have specific notes written down for, for the consulting, because you know what the consulting call is gonna be, right? Because you posted the ad, <laughs> or you, what, you can do this online too, you can set up an opt-in page, see if, get them in there, see if they're interested, and whatever. You know, there's many different ways you can do this. But I wanted to give this to you guys because a lot of marketers that even beginners, they're just starting out. They're trying to make money with five, seven, ten dollar products. And it's even when you start kind of making a couple of sales here and there, it's kind of cool. You get excited, but it really doesn't pay for any of your bills. So you have to start looking at different avenues such as consulting where you can charge a higher fee or doing something for somebody where you could charge a higher fee. Like video editing, you could charge 50 an hour, 100 an hour, you know, whatever you're really good at. And if you're not good at something, find something that you're really, if you think you're not good at something, because trust me, you probably are, you just don't know. So what you want to do is find some kind of a teacher that what you're really, really passionate about or interested in. Okay. Like just say email copy or something. You wanted to learn how to do email copy and start writing email campaigns for really big businesses where you can make shit tons of money. What you would do is go find some certification courses on copywriting. Digital Marketer HQ has some certification courses. That's the courses that I take. I've got six right now and I'm working on number seven. Um, I think who else does this? I'm trying to think. I think Russell Brunson has some kind of certifications too. I'm not sure for funnels or something. I'm not sure on that one. But for sure, I know that Ryan Dice with Digital Marketer, they have a, a company that on the side, they call Digital Marketer HQ. And they do certifications for all kinds of internet marketing courses, okay? Like uh, Social Media Manager, I got that one. Uh, they have the email copy one, I got that one. What else they have? Uh, search Marketing Mastery. It's just all kinds of different things that you can master. And you can use that knowledge right there to be a consultant of that specific thing. Once you get your certification, and you fully understand everything, you can definitely become a consultant for that specific thing and make a lot of money, guys. So this is the, just wanted to bring this to you because I know that this kind of thing can help you guys, you know, if you're just, if you're making money right now, but you're really not making that much, this type of thing could help. So let's take a look again at this Zoom because I'm rambling on and on here. So I wanted to give you this because it's basically free, but if you wanted to do more than one student, you would have to kind of upgrade but check it out though it's really good so you can host up to 100 people so you can have 100 people in there right but you can only have i think it's let me see what it says okay so you can have 100 people in here but they can't all participate so it's not like a webinar where they can like text you know text you a question or not now you can have some in here you have unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings right that means you can do consulting one-on-one -on -one for as long as you want and as much as you want. So one-on-one -on -one is as long as you want. There's no, uh, as you can see, it says 40 minutes limit on group meetings. This is only when you have so many people in the group, okay? So let's see how many it says here. Your basic plan has a 40 minute time limit on meetings with three or more total participants, okay? So that means if you have three or more people in there that's communicating together, like asking questions, everybody's participating like kind of like a webinar then you can only do that type of thing for 40 minutes long all right but a one-on-one -on -one meeting which i contacted these guys already to ask them because i was i wasn't certain i said is there a time limit on a one-on-one -on -one meeting and they said no there's no time limit on one-to-one -on -one meetings in fact i did an interview uh with wayne crow i think in here and it was like over 60 minutes or close to an hour and i had to uh, chop it up a little bit and make it a little shorter but yeah so it definitely does not have a time limit so it's pretty cool you just go to zoom.com and you download the uh software you know if you're going to be hosting it you download the software now you're your participants don't need to download it. Only the person that's gonna be hosting does. But what ha this is kind of how it works. I just wanted to show you right quick. So once you download the software, right, you got it for free. As you can see, I'm signed in. So you would go to zoom.com and sign into your account. And then you come up here to host a meeting, okay? Now you could do this with video on or with video off, or you could do screen share only if you wanted to. Just depends on how you wanna do your teachings. But even when you have video on, okay, 
you can go ahead and do some screen sharing in there as well. You know, you can put on your screen and show them that and talk to them and whatnot. If you have the video off, I don't think, I'm guessing you could still share the screen. I've never done this one, but I think with the video off, it's just gonna show a little picture of you, uh, whatever you have in your account up here. It's just gonna show that and it, they'll just hear your voice. So pretty cool. So what you do watch, I'll go ahead and host with video on right here. Oh crap, I hope it doesn't mess up my, uh, I'm recording right now with Cam Tease you. <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't. It's not doing anything. I don't know, maybe it's not gonna work because I'm recording already. But what happens is whenever you host, you go to host. Let me try with video off maybe. No, it's not gonna work. Okay, let's talk about schedule a meeting then. You can also schedule a meeting so if you talk to a client and say, okay, we're going to get together on this specific date and time. You can go ahead and put that together. You can put the name of the client up here, meeting with such and such. You can put the description if you want to. You can put the date and the time. Okay. Now, if you're talking to someone that's not in your time zone, make sure you get together on that. You could use time. Uh, what is it? Time buddy. Where's my little app here it's called world time buddy you can go to world time buddy just type that in google search and it'll bring it up for you very very convenient tool in fact let me just go ahead and bring it up to show you what it is so as you can see here's where i am right lafayette okay and i have uh one person over here in buenos aires and one in london that i talked to so it'll give me what time it is here and it'll tell me what time they are there so we can kind of you know put something together say okay let's meet at let's say 2 p.m my time which would be 8 p.m your time something like that we'll have, we'll have the call and if you agree then you set it up over here in the schedule of meeting now this is a paid uh app i think it's a paid app you also can get it on mobile but in the free version here you can see you can have uh, i think th up to three people it's either two or three different time locations that you can have in here at one given time. If you wanted to have even more, like if you have a bunch of clients, you might want to upgrade to the uh, paid version of this. So it's a pretty cool little, little app. It definitely works when you're doing consulting, right? So anyway, yeah, you could set this up and it generates a link for you once you save it. Once you save it down here on the bottom. See, meeting options require a password. Okay, I think you might have to send them this password but it usually generates a link for you. Okay, here's the link. So you would send them this link like that day, maybe a few hours ahead of the time before they're ready to let them know. So you could copy this in an email, send them an email and let them know. Here's the link, they just click on that link. If they need to put in a password, here's the password right here. So you could mail this to them as well. So we'll put the link on one line and then require a meeting password, just put password and then put them numbers so that they can get in. So that's pretty much how this works, guys. Something you can be using one-on-one uh, -on -one consulting. So I'm gonna be putting this in another course as well because it's it's really, really good stuff. So yeah, go ahead and read all of this, guys. Read everything on this page here. See, maybe you might like another one, but I prefer Zoom. I really like it, it works really good. It also allows you to record the conversation, the video conversation or audio, whatever, right there on the spot and it saves it for you in the cloud for so many days I forgot what it is for the free version you get so many days I think for the uh, paid upgraded version it just stays there as long as you you know an active member if you want to learn a little bit more about how to do mastermind groups go ahead and check out some of the big-time marketers and see what their mastermind groups are check out their sales pages for it or if they have webinars go into the webinars see how they're doing all of that good stuff and that's the best way to learn guys is to go in there and actually you know see it for yourself to see what's going on i'm not saying sign up for them because you probably don't have that kind of money but you can see the basic process of how they're doing it right to get clients in and all of that stuff so i hope you enjoyed this video guys you could use this for consulting stuff as well that's why i wanted to make sure i brought this to you so you can check this stuff out because remember the more you make per hour the better off you're going to be so if you're doing like consulting for i don't know 150 an hour or something you're going to be making some pretty good money compared to five dollars and ten dollars products for affiliate marketing here and there what i like to do when i'm doing affiliate marketing is i try to lead that person once i get enough sales in from them and i see that they're good buyers i start pitching the high ticket stuff to them okay because that's something you're going to want to do in your own business as well Okay, so that's going to close off this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.